Hey guys, Javino here. First off, I'd like to apologize for the lack of visual stuff in this video. I just felt I'd really like to get this information out before the horde of videos doing the exact same thing. But there has been new information released on the Shangri-La map pack because the achievement list was released for... or not the map pack, but the zombie map. And the achievement list was released for that map. And there are five achievements, I think. And they, the descriptions of them actually release a lot of information regarding different types of zombies and the easter egg and the wonder weapon of the map. I'm going to get to the wonder weapon first because that's probably the biggest thing on everybody's mind. And they've probably f chosen the worst possible, well not the worst possible, but, but the most confusing name. I have not found any meaning to it at this point. I'm sure there is something, but I have not found any meaning to it. The, me er, the uh, name of the wonder weapon is the 31-79 space capital J capital G, small b, 215. Uh, there's probably some meaning to that, but that just sounds like gibberish to me. And what it does is when you shoot zombies, it's kind of like a focused thunder gun type thing. It doesn't have the the uh, spread of a thunder gun, but it's, it's still got that little bit of spread to it, and it's got a lot more penetration than, say, the Vril or something. And it seems to shrink zombies. Now, I don't know what happens after they've gotten shrunk, but that's the achievement for that is shrinking every kind of zombie, which leads me to my next piece of information, is we've seen the flaming zombie type thing in the first trailer, and the zombie, the sh it's called the Shrieker zombie in the second trailer. And what the napalm zombie does is when you shoot it or kill it, it explodes into napalm, and uh, that stuff can damage players. And the Shrieker zombie it blinds players. Kind of, I'm assuming like a flashbang type effect. Now the achievement to do with the napalm zombies is kill a napalm zombie without it damaging any of the players. And the one to do with the shrieker zombie is kill a shrieker zombie while you're blinded by it. So yeah, it probably just kind of flashbangs you, which I can imagine would be really freaking annoying. But it does what it does, I guess. And the one to do with the easter egg is uh, uh, I think the achievement's called Time Travel Will Tell, and the description is get or acquire or something along those lines. Get the focusing stone. Now, what this implies is I don't think they would make an achievement midway through the Easter egg, so assuming that this is the final thing of the Easter egg, it appears you actually get the focusing stone if you complete the Easter egg, which means you can probably use it in the game somehow. Now, the achievement is just this orb with, like, the moon in the background. I think it's the moon. That's what it looks like, at least. So, And I know this map has a eclipse-type cycle, so it probably has something to do with that, but at this point, I can't even hazard a guess. And uh, the last achievement is nothing too spectacular. We already know the, the monkeys that run around dropping the drops. It's just pick up one of the drops from the monkeys, and they just, if you don't know, you can go look at the first trailer. I think it actually might be in both trailers, but there's these monkeys that run around and they got uh, drops on their head and it just cycles to a different drop and when you kill it, it drops that drop. Like what I mean by drops are carpenters, insta-kills, double points, stuff like that. But that's about all uh, the information that was released from uh, the achievement list. If there's any more information before Tuesday, uh, expect to see it on this channel. And when the, the zombie map comes out, assume I'm, gonna post, I'm probably going to post some strategies to it. I'm going to try my ass off in the first week to find the Easter egg. I'm really that's really going to be my main focus, so don't really expect anything major in the way of strategies in the first week or so. But after the Easter egg's been completely figured out, I'm probably going to make a tutorial for that and that's when I'm going to start focusing on the strategic part of the map, the actual getting far. But until then, see you guys and thanks for watching.